Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of Elastic. Ryan Burry was on the Hardy's Hotline podcast recently. He lifted the veil in this two-part series to reveal what transpired after Daniel Lissing left. However, he didn't get asked about Daniel. When asked which episodes were some of his favorites, he replied, These are the ones that particularly feature the Australian actor. The first episode that Brian Bird loves is season 5, episode 4, which is when Jack leaves for his shift. He found it really poignant as they genuinely believed he was bidding them farewell. According to Bird, the reason this was so emotional was because there was a lot of tension throughout the wedding, and they were unsure about Lissing's return. That explains why it was so strong, and when he rides off, she cries after him. During his final two seasons on the Hallmark series, Daniel Lissing was only contributing part-time. For a long time, he wanted to put the show behind him. However, Brian Bird feels that this is the most potent Belle Tate episode, yet because it is so beautifully written and has the greatest performance. A lot of people are devastated by what actually happened here, and many of them don't comprehend it. Making a fictional television show and Hardys are so connected that sometimes that passion turns into real anxiety, said Brian Bird. There were even conspiracy theories around the rookie star's departure. They did a Facebook Live event with Daniel Lissing. Over two million people watched. Ryan Bird then explained more about the situation with Daniel Lissing. Before season four, Daniel agreed to come back in more of a part-time role, and they hoped to make him change his mind and make him want to stay. Then, at some point in season five, they realized they needed to resolve this situation. This is why they had them get married. They were not able to get Daniel to change his mind. He wanted season five to be his last. The writers had to figure out how they were going to make this happen. They had to build stories. Because he was only part-time, they sent him off and then he comes back. How were they going to make that happen? Now that they realized that they had to write Daniel Listing out of the show, they had to figure out how. First. Brian Bird made it clear that no one else could ever play Jack. They could not even consider another actor. He pointed out that this was not the 1960s and when Calls the Heart was not bewitched. They were not just going to replace Daniel Lissing with a new actor for season six. So, using the cast they had, how were they going to write themselves out of this situation? They figured that if they had broken the couple up, the Hardys would hate the show and never come back. What if Jack decided that his duty is more important to him than Elizabeth? Could he leave? The WCTH writers knew that the audience would hate this. Ryan Bird shared that the only one option was death. He philosophically stated that this is life for all of us. He reminded listeners, this is our journey and our lives. The writers and producers clearly felt it would be shocking and hard. But, they also figured that the audience needed to grieve Daniel Lissing's departure and Jack's death. They knew that this was traumatic in such a good way. Brian Bird then mentioned Downton Abbey, a show from Great Britain. He pointed out that Dan Stevens wanted to leave after season three. This is a spoiler for those who have not seen the show, but he finally wins the heart of the woman he loves. They were at the peak of their love. They just had a baby. Blissfully, he leaves but winds up in a car accident and dies. So, the WCTH writers took a page from their playbook. He felt that circumstances required something this dramatic and traumatic. This is why he was killed by a landslide. This was a traumatic ending. Brian Bird felt that in season five, episode 10, with the announcement that Elizabeth is pregnant was incredible. That is because he felt that Aaron Krakow put on an acting clinic. He even mentioned that grief counselors have asked them if they can use this because Aaron goes through the five stages of grief. Ryan Bird believes Aaron gave an Emmy-worthy performance. He felt her acting was very powerful. Even though Daniel Lissing left when calls the heart, the producer admits that he still keeps in touch with him. Bird points out that if this was Hope Valley and if someone wanted to leave, what would they do? Of course, they would give wings to life. They would help that person fulfill those dreams. Ryan Bird shared that this is what Dan wanted to do. Of course, Daniel Lissing met his wife because he left. That was the most precious thing in his life. Brian Bird claims that despite the trauma of losing Daniel Lissing, 
the show's ratings have improved since Daniel's departure. When Lissing exited the show, their fan base remained intact. He clarifies that viewers of the show are still coming in. The main reason for this is that nothing comparable airs on TV. He revealed that their lack of genius is not the reason. The reason is that people are in need of hope. Elizabeth and Jack were very close. Elizabeth had to go through the five stages of mourning for her fans. After that, they were all ecstatic to become parents. It should be mentioned that a female was never going to be the outcome. They made light of a Jacqueline, but they were aware that it would be a Jack's wish to depart from Elizabeth and Jack when their love was at its height. Jack's death was not postponed due to his illness. Daniel Lissing was only employed part-time, which was the main reason for this. The actor appeared in no more than five of their programs. Did him married and buried in that time was what they had to do. Many of the Hardys expressed their wish that they had known Jack would die, even though they had known it was coming for several months. According to Brian Bird, it is television. He thought they did a great job narrating the tale. Additionally, he said, we know best about these things as writers. This is our primary source of income. Would you tell the brain surgeon how to do it? He then inquired.